Hello, my name is Anubhav and I'm a technical marketing engineer working for security business group at Cisco Systems. This is a short video on Cisco ASAV in AWS scale-out design. In this example, we have a VPC. Under that VPC, we have two availability zones, AZ1 and AZ2. Each zone is protected by Cisco ASAV and these ASAs are added behind Amazon Elastic Load Balancer. This ELB is load balancing traffic across availability zones based on five tuple information. So whenever any traffic is received on ELB, ELB will forward it to one of the ASAs available in the backend pool and, for, and then that ASA will forward it to the destination application. So this is how we can scale out our design. We can add multiple ASAs within single availability zone or we can extend the design to multiple availability zones as well. So I'll just go ahead and uh, pause this video and log into AWS console and I will show you how uh, I have deployed this design. Welcome back and I'm now logged into AWS console and I'm into EC2. So I'll just go ahead and show you all the instances which I'm running there in AWS. I have ASA AZ1 which is located in uh, availability zone 2A. I have AZ2 located in availability zone 2B. Likewise, I have a Linux machine available in 2A availability zone and uh, Linux machine 2 available in um, availability zone 2B. Now, if I uh, look at the uh, load balancer, I have this load balancer and under this load balancer, uh, I have two instances of ASA added. Um, AZ1 is located in 2A availability zone and AZ2 ASA is located in 2B availability zone. And these two ASAs are in service. Health check is based on port 22. You can use port 80 or 443. And then if you if we go ahead and click on description, this is the DNS um, air wicket that we need to access. And I have created load balancing based on port 80. So any traffic hitting on port 80, I will be forwarding it to the ASAs available in this pool. So I'll just uh, go ahead and show you uh, an example. So I'll just go ahead and click this URL. So I'm hitting ELB located in AZ2. I'll use another browser and try to access same a URL now uh, using a different browser uh, I have a different I'm hitting a different um, web server so I'll just uh, go ahead and log into our ASAs I'll just do show con all on ASA 1 I can see traffic on port 80 here as well coming from management interface and going to inside interface I'll run the same command on the second ASA box as well so I have uh, port 80 traffic here as well. So using this uh, load balancing design, we are act, uh, we are sending traffic to both ASAs based on the five tuple load balancing and providing active active forwarding. So that's it for uh, this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.